Welcome back. This is Mr. M Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now answering question number five from the Mechanics M1 International A-Level January 2023 exam. And this question is about constant acceleration and SUVAT. And we have three points P, Q, and R, which are on a horizontal road where P, Q, R is a straight line. The point P is between, sorry, the point Q is between P and R, and P, Q equals six x meters and qr equals 5x meters as shown in figure 2. A vehicle moves along the road from p to q with constant acceleration. I have the same diagram down here so I'm going to put annotate on this. Okay the vehicle is modeled as a particle. At time t equals 0 the vehicle passes p with a speed u meters per second. So this is when time equals 0. It's passing with the speed of u meters per second. At time t equals 12, it's passing q, so this is time t equals 12 seconds, and its speed is now 2 u meters per second, and in, it's going at constant acceleration, which we don't know directly right now. Um, it's saying, using the model, show that x equals 3 u. All right, so now, we know that between p and q, there's constant acceleration, so between p to q, I can use the SUVAT equations, so I'm going to write SUVAT, okay, and then I'm going to fill in what I know and then decide how I can proceed. So we fill in everything we know between P and Q. Well, I know the displacement between P and Q is 6x meters, so that's 6x there. We know the initial velocity is in terms of U, it's U itself. In terms of U, the final velocity is 2U. And the acceleration is constant, which we don't know, but we can find. And the time is 12 seconds between P to Q. So now, uh, what we can do is first we can use V equals U plus AT, and we can find the acceleration in terms of U. We see V is 2U, U is U, the acceleration is A, which we have to find, and the time is 12. So we have 2U minus U over 12 is going to be the acceleration. So we can say, therefore, the acceleration is u over 12 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's ac the acceleration. So now we have acceleration. We have S, U, V, A, T. So we have everything here that we can possibly need. Now, I'm guessing the easiest thing for us to do here would be to use S equals U plus V over 2 times T. In fact, we didn't even have to find the acceleration. They found it anyway. That might come in useful later on anyway. But if I use the average speed times the time, I will get, you know, the displacement. So I have everything I need in order to, to find or to show that x equals 3u. So let me just put these values in that we have here. So we have s is 6x. We have u plus 2u divided by 2 times 12. That cancels with that, gives you 6. So we end up with 6x equals 3u times 6. The 6 is cancelled out, so therefore we're left with x equals 3u. So we didn't actually have to find the acceleration um, to solve this problem. We could have used acceleration because we could have used any one of the formulas that we wanted. I could have used v squared equals u squared plus 2as. I could have used s equals ut plus a half at squared. Once we know the acceleration, we could use any of them. But here, we didn't have the acceleration directly. So it would have been you know, sensible just to use s, u, v, and t. s equals u plus v over 2 times t. So that's what we did in the end anyway. So that's fine. Um, that might come in useful for another part of the question later on. We'll see. But there we have the answer to part A. Now for part B. It says, as the vehicle passes Q, the acceleration of the vehicle changes instantaneously. So the acceleration now becomes 1.5 meters per second squared. And it continues with this constant acceleration and passes R with a speed of... 3u meters per second. Meters per second. All right. So this is when time equals 12 according to hours. And this was when time equals zero. It was going through here at u meters per second. And it was going through here at 2u meters per second. And we found that x equals 3u. 
that's the information that we have um, did you so far All right so I'll just put that here because that's something we might need now so we now know some information about between Q and R that there's constant acceleration here the acceleration was u over 12 meters per second squared in case that's needed so we have suvat s u v a t so here we have between q and r we're going to consider between q and r there's a constant acceleration between those so i can use suvat between those it's a different acceleration than this this acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared s is 5x u is 2u and v is 3u the initial velocity in this section is 2u and the final velocity is 3u Remember, we're only considering q to r so we're starting at q finishing at r so that's where we take my our u as 2u not as u because we're considering between q to r only and the time we don't know so we've got to find the value of u so let's think of how we can come um like uh, kind of like use these with a equation of motion so we have s u v and a that looks like v squared equals u squared plus 2 a s that's the one that involves v u a and s so we know v is 3 so this is 3 u all squared i think a lot of people made mistakes with this question by not squaring that 3 as well right right it's just 3 u squared. So it's going to become 9 u squared in the end and this is 2 u all squared plus 2 times a, which is 1.5, times s, which is 5x. Now, we know that x equals 3u. So we can actually write this as 5 times 3u, which is 15u. Just have everything in terms of u. So I'll write this s as 15u. All right, because um, that will help us find what u is. We'll have everything in terms of u there. That's 9u squared equals 4u squared. This is 2 times 1.5, which is 3. 3 times 15, which is 45u. Okay, so if we rearrange this, 9u squared minus 4u squared is going to be 5u squared. You can say 5u squared um, minus 45u equals 0. Okay, so now we can divide by 5u squared minus 9u equals 0. If you factorize this, you have u times u minus 9 equals 0. So either u equals 0, which doesn't make sense, okay, um, or u equals 9 meters per second. So the value of u is 9 meters per second, all right? Um, because we know that u can't equal 0. Why? Because it says it moves along the road from P to Q with constant acceleration. It passes with a speed u. So it's saying it's passing this with a speed u. So, you know, it's obviously moving at that point. It passes p with a speed u. It can't be passing p with a speed zero. Okay, we would have said it started from p at rest. Okay, so here, the value of u that we need is 9 meters per second. Okay, so u is equal to 9. Okay, we can say u is equal to 9. All right, so there's the answer for question part b. Then it says, find the distance traveled by the vehicle for, during the first 14 seconds after passing P. Okay, so now, if we consider from P to Q first, we have, this is time equals 0, this is time equals 12, this is, um, this is, um, the speed was U, and here the speed was 2U meters per second. Okay, um, and we know that x is equal to 3u so we can say that the distance is 6x which is 6 times 3u and which is 6 times 3 times 9 because we know that also u is equal to 9 so that's going to give you um 18 times 9 18 times 9 that gives you 162 meters Okay, so we can work out that out just by knowing that um, the displacement is 6x. Then we got to, uh, that's for the first 12 seconds. That's like from 0 to 12 seconds. Now we got to look from 12 to 14 seconds. Okay, that's the next part. So we find the distance is traveled. So that's starting from Q, okay, until it's gone for two, time equals 2 seconds. So if we take time equals 0 as Q now, um, that's two seconds after it's, it's, it's gone past Q. So let's again use SUVAT. 
So we have S we don't know. We know U is 2U. That's, that's the speed it starts at Q. That's as it's going through um, there. V, we don't know what V is. Okay. Um, let's put that as V. The acceleration we know is 1.5 and the time is 2 seconds. Okay, because 2 seconds after 12 seconds because we've got to find for the first 14 seconds. So we have, um, we want to find S. Okay, we want to find S. We want to find the displacement that it's, it's traveled in those first two seconds. So we can say S equals UT plus a half AT squared. I think that would work. So S equals um, 2U times 2 plus a half times the acceleration, which is 1.5 times the time, which is 2 squared. So that's going to give me 4U. And that's going to give me um, a half, okay, times 1.5 times, so that, that would be 4, so it would be, that's going to be give me a half times 4, which is 2, that's going to be plus 3. Okay, so S equals 4U plus 3. So we know that U is equal to 9, so it's 4 times 9 plus 3, which is 36 plus 3, which is 39 meters. So therefore we can say, the total distance is going to be 162 plus 39. Okay, that's going to give me, um, I think that's 201. 162 plus 39, that gives me 201 meters. 201 meters. So there's the total distance traveled for the first 14 seconds. Okay, I could have put you here as 2 times 9, which is 18, and I could have you know, use that straight away. Um, I didn't think of that, but I could have done that and that would have been fine. Anyway, that's the answer to this question. That concludes this question number uh, five. Yep, that was the last part of this question. This is question five from January 2023 M1. Um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Um, other questions from this topic of constant acceleration um, can be found in the playlist over here, Kinematics, Constant Acceleration, and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link, and the video that will appear in this region here will um, explain to you how you can use my channel to help you with your revision and find um, playlists that might be useful to you quickly. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.